and you think this is creepy? Wait until we walk around this haunted cemetery at night and see some really, really scary stuff coming up next. Stay tuned as we uncover the mysteries of this place and so much more. travelers, backpackers and friends to this new episode and today let me welcome you to the magical Koyasan. Koyasan is well known for being home of hundreds places where you can sleep with the monks. A very little town in the small valley surrounded by mountains like this one and let me tell you he has a lot to offer. In today's episode, we're gonna go around this little town, see as many temples, shrines, mausoleums, and attractions as possible. What a better way to start here than with a viewpoint, a beautiful shrine, and a, a nice walk in the nature. So, buckle up and let's explore the magical Koyasan. Yeah. The train number one of the day, even if it's not that far, only 50 kilometers, this is going to be a hell of a ride as it might take four hours and something like four trains, one cable car, one bus. I guess this is the price of a small location lost in the mountains and yeah. Train number two. It's location number three. Now let's eat the bus. Fourth transportation of the day. After two train, one cable car, here comes the bus. So today we made it to Koyasan or Mount Koya or Koya for where I'm staying exactly. And as you can tell, this is pretty empty. So far we've been exploring the Congo Buji uh, temple, which was actually pretty nice. Uh, inside also, the, I can take more videos. And now we're here. Um, just a temple was a big ensemble and uh, very nice from outside. Beautifully crafted from inside also with the paintings on the doors. But you were not supposed to film, so yeah. But uh, let's see this one. Like it's pretty much said in the name, 
it's a mausoleum so get those two kind of shrines I guess and um, here in uh, this spot in the middle of the nature it's quiet relaxing there's no traffic nobody um, it's not a long visit it's like 10 20 minutes but it's only 200 yen and um, the environment is really peaceful Peaceful and quiet way to the top of the mountain. So I think we've done six, uh, seven hundred meters high. Still two or three to go, and then the way down. So but it's a nice walk, though. So actually, a 20 minute walk uphill led us to the top of Mount Benken, where there's a shrine and a view on the valley around. So let's appreciate this and uh, take a ball of fresh air, see the nature around, and uh, then we'll go down the other side of the mountain to arrive at the one of the main temples around here so <sighs> okay so the end of the walking trail led us to here to the Damon gate which is a national treasure Okay guys, so just a quick note on how it works in Koyasan. Along the streets you will see many temples with this kind saying Hin. This means that it's a temple like this as well as a Airbnb. So this is actually the temples where you can sleep the one that provides a bed for the night and food for dinner if you book and one stay for some reason i didn't go with that option one is you have to book before you can book through the tourism office but you have to book at least one week or five days before i think uh, one or two nights just before there were a few options left but for me that was kind of too expensive for the experience as it was like 15,000 yen which is already a lot just for a simple room and um, a simple dinner so so I went to a basic hotel room in Koya for 10,000 yen around a little less 8,000 and decided that we'd just go around by bus and We made it to the Danjo Garden complex, which is, as you can see, pretty huge and the most important complex around here. There's plenty to see, plenty to uncover. You get this huge pagoda, you get these uh, shrines and temples lost in the middle of the forest, and, and here is some kind of Temple village, I guess. So um, the site is pretty huge. Everything is pretty dense and amazing. And wow! So there's more to it. So let's uncover this. This is actually crazy because even when you think you're done and you've seen it all, there's more to see. The weather is nice actually. There's no rain today. Uh, no wind. Obviously, here it's a little colder because 
of the altitude, but um, still nice weather and enjoyable. This place has a um, nice vibe to it. So as for right now, we're in the Okunoin uh, Cemetery. Not sure I pronounced that well, but um, this place has a very, very peculiar feeling, kind of a mystical vibe to it. You get more than 200,000 graves uh, scattered in the big cedar forest. Uh, where you can get trees that are more than 50 meters high. You get a temple and you get shrines like this. It's a little like the, I'd say the Japanese Père Lachaise maybe. You can walk there at night, it's open, free. And um, they have all the lanterns and so the main path are are lit but, um, and it's kind of really uh, a nice feeling walking there at night. If you can, you should definitely come here anyway. This place is a must see and it's also a must live at night for, for the vibes. What's beautiful is you're in the middle of nature and in some places nature has taken its rights back. But you know that you can come here at night in groups, they organize tours. It's like one hour starting at 7.30 to 8.30. I think you have to book or go somewhere if you want some explanation. But you know me, I like to do things by myself. Let's continue the exploration. I really hope you like what we'll see today and this will make you want to come to explore this place as Koyasan is uh, so far as a lot to offer and it's a great place. Welcome back guys, so I guess that's it for today and our discovery of Koyasan. I hope you enjoyed what we got to see today i guess i will see you on next episode until then stay adventurous take care and remember to always just go with the flow bye bye